Hi, this is Greg of Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a short track, five foot wide, tube top landscape trailer. This is part of the tube top series that Short Track does. It has about eight or nine extra features over and above a traditional angle iron trailer. So whenever they do a tube top, there's a lot more to it than just the tube top rail. So let's take a walk around the trailer. Everything you see here is standard as part of the tube top series trailer. So starting out up front, everything uh, single axle is going to be a two inch ball. It does have a setback jack. Now, not only is it set back, and the reason for that would be to stay out of the way of your truck tailgate, but it's also a zinc coated jack. It's not a, a painted jack that's going to rust out over time. So it's also a triple tube tongue. So instead of the traditional single tube out the center or the A-frame, it's got all three. It makes it a lot stronger. Uh, the wiring there is in uh, wire loom. Of course, you've got your safety chains. So once the, uh, once the uh, wiring comes back past the A-frame, it's gonna get back in uh, conduit. So the strip going back uh, protects your wiring. Now it is a tube top rail and tube uprights. So sometimes whenever you get a tube or a pipe top rail, it's just gonna be the top rail, but again, on this all the way around, uh, it also transfers down to the mainframe via uh, tube. Then you've got the extra uh, heavy corner post there. You got stake pocket tie downs. You got four of those in this particular unit. Trailer is powder coated. They do a nice job blasting the trailer prior to uh, prior to the powder, and then they also do a phosphate wash prior to as well. You'll notice this has the three quarter inch bullet LED light. Gives it a nice uh, nice appearance. Also a little smaller target to hit. Trailer's got a 205-75 R15 load range C six ply radial tire. It's got the Easy Lube hub uh, behind that black cap in the center. It's going to be a grease zert, so a homeowner with a uh, grease gun and uh, perhaps a flat bladed screwdriver, depending on the time of year to get the uh, black plug off, you can service your own uh, trailer bearing. Also, it's got a Jeep style tread plate fender. So instead of the smooth fender, this is a little bit heavier duty tread plate style. Now, you notice Short Track actually silicones the joint between the mainframe. Or I should say the uh, tube top rail and the fender there. So they're trying to keep uh, rust out of some of those critical areas. They also do the same thing on the fender backer uh, on uh, both sides as well. They put the uh, license plate light with the uh, light over it. They do that to keep it away from the back. A lot of times you'll see guys that'll put it in this area, but it's not legal because it don't have a light over it. Uh, so this one here, they've got it a little farther forward. Uh, kind of a bad spot would be down at the bottom on a utility. They'll tend to get tore off and drug and whatnot. So they put it where it's legal, and certainly I'm sure customers have moved it, but they put it in a legal location for you to start with. Now the pin system on a short track is definitely uh, a lot nicer uh, than what we generally see. So a couple key points here. This fab part right here is a really smart design. It does a few things. It allows for a toolless gate removal, so you'd simply pull the pin there and lay the gate down inside the trailer. Now what that's going to do, it's going to release the tension on the spring. So again, spring assist on these is standard. The gate's also constructed from 2x2 tube, not angle iron. Uh, pretty much on short track trailers, that means that the gate can generally withstand the full payload uh, of the trailer, which generally on utilities is not possible. The gate is generally going to be your weak spot. Lights on these are all sealed beam LEDs. Uh, Short Track has changed for roughly 2019 model year. It was kind of a running change, but they've gone to this tube bumper. It used to be a, a fab part or kind of like an angle iron. Uh, the tube protects the wiring a little better and also gives some extra reinforcement to that gate. So the gate's only as strong as what it's made out of, but also what it's going to push off of or be supported by. So this pin system here is also a very nice design. You simply rotate the pin 180, would it be 180 or 90 degrees there. And uh, it's it just a very slick setup. It's strong, it's, it's fairly heavy constructed, but also a very simple uh, setting. So whenever it's in the up position, it's open. And then they figure once you, uh, once you rattle a little bit down the road, even if somebody doesn't push it down, it's gonna end up working its way down. Now this particular gate will fold flat inside the trailer as well. So you'd simply 
couple of pins and let it go inside. Now that'll give you a little bit more forward weight. Uh, this trailer is balanced about right as it is, but if you don't want that extra wind resistance, uh, you can fold it down inside. It'll give you a little more forward weight, make it tow even better. Another key detail at the back end of Short Track Utilities, uh, you gotta look pretty close here, but you can see the lags going into the back. Uh, the rear transition on these uh, has a Borg retainer. You can simply pull those off if you ever need to replace the lumber. Generally, we find the lumber is not usually going to be replaced by the original owner. Uh, but if you are, in fact, still the owner of this, by the time they need replaced, they certainly make it uh, easier than most to do that. Most times you'd have to, to uh, go through a lot more work than just unscrewing a couple uh, deck boards. So you know like this is going to weigh in a little under a thousand pounds. It's going to give a net legal payload of about 2,000 plus ton weight. Even though this unit's got a 3,500 pound axle, it's going to be derated to 2,990 as it does not have brakes, uh, which is pretty typical in the utility trailer market. Uh, single axles, again, generally don't have brakes. Even though it's a 3,500 pound axle, uh, they can only legally be registered at 2,990. Basically, you got 2,000 pound of payload plus some tongue weight. Normally, tongue weight's gonna be about 15% of the 2,990. It's gonna net you a couple more hundred pounds. Uh, tires, like the axle, are rated to 3,500 pounds. This does come in a handful of sizes, five by eight, five by 10. It's also available in a six by 10, six by 12. And then it's also in seven wide by 12 foot singles and tandem axle units. Short Track configures this in a bunch of different ways. They've got the tube top three board. Uh, they've got a solid side. Uh, there's a little cheaper angle iron version. It doesn't have some of the features of this. Uh, quite a few different models. Also a galvanized solid side available and an ATV side ramp model as well for uh, ramps up front for side loading quads and equipment or just for uh, being able to fork a skid or material or similar on. If you have any questions about this or any of our other short track trailers, give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.